In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a VLOOKUP with multiple criteria using this athlete name card. So for example, we have a name card here where we can select our athlete and then select another criteria, be it their position, their date of birth, or their sport. And the VLOOKUP will automatically pull out the right information from a master database. So let's get after it. Okay, so in order to get started, I've just gone ahead and created this outline for where we're going to be inputting our data for our athlete card. And the first thing that I'm going to want to do is actually add a spot where we'll be selecting our athlete name from a master database. So I'm going to do that using a drop down list. I'm in this first box where I want that selection to take place. I'm going to go to data, data validation, and then right here where it says select data range, I'm going to click that and go to my athletes data tab. And I'm going to select the first column here, but I would like this range to start at A2 because I do not want to include the title in this case. So I'll hit OK, and you can see that our reference is Athletes A2 all the way down, selecting that whole column. And when I hit Save, I should be able to select any of those athlete names, and indeed I can. So then the next thing that I want to be able to do is have a selection box here where I can select any of the metrics along the top of my table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of these cells here, and then the same way I'm going to go to Data, Data Validation, and I'm going to select Data Range, and this time I'm going to select the row. So you can see I'll select athletes one, one here, but I want to start at B because I want to start from the first set of metrics, in this case, date of birth. So I'm gonna type in B here and I'm going to go from B1 all the way across. When I hit okay, you can see that we have B1 all the way through row one. So then the next thing that I'll wanna do is just add some dollar signs in front of these values to lock them in. So when I drag this formula around, it's not going to move. When I hit save, I should be able to go back and select any of those metrics now. So then now what I wanna do is based on the athlete that I select and the metric I select, have the appropriate value come in here. So the first thing we'll do is return the athlete's image. And in this box, we're just going to type equals V lookup, open this up, and we want to look for the name Dave. And then it's going to ask us what is the range we want to look in. In this case, we want to look in the athletes tab from A2 all the way through F4. And then I'm going to hit comma one more time. And it's going to ask me what I want to index. In this case, it means which column do I want to index because we are doing a vertical lookup. So I want to index the last column, which is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm gonna type a six in there and then end this off with false because this data is not sorted. And when I hit enter, you'll notice that the picture pops up in the cell based on the athlete that we select. So you can see that that will change. Now, what we wanna do is actually include another criteria. So I'm gonna go through the same formula. So I'm gonna click in the box and hit equals V lookup open that up. The search key that I want is still the athlete's name, comma, where I want to look for it is still the same from A2 all the way to F4, comma. Now when we get the actual index, in this case, what we want to do is match for the column that we want to return. Okay. So what I'm going to use here is a formula called match. And I'm going to open that up and it's gonna ask me what I wanna look for here now. So what I wanna look for is the second criteria of sport. And where I want to look for that is in the headers at the top, along the top. And then I'm going to hit false and close this off now and then false again because our initial VLOOKUP is not sorted. So I'll take you through this formula. What we're going to do is look up the athlete's name in the actual data set. And it's going to be looking down here and finding it. And then for which column we're gonna return, we're looking across the top and matching it to the one that we've selected. And when I hit enter, you're gonna see that the sport comes in. And if I was to change this to any of the other um, categories, you're gonna see those values come in as well. Okay, now if I lock some of these in, I should be able to just drag this formula down so I'm gonna lock in where the athlete name is because that's not going to change. I'm going to lock in our database by hitting F4 to 
put dollar signs around everything. In the case of the actual um, lookup value, this we do want to change. So we want the row to change as we drag this down. So what I'm going to lock in is only the column. So I'm going to lock in the D, which is gonna just lock in the column. And then I will delete the dollar sign from in front of the four. I want to lock in the athlete references at the top. And then I'm going to hit enter and it will not have changed our formula. And I'm just going to drag this down and you can see it's gonna give us an NA value, but as we choose a new value, it should index that. And then the last piece of this puzzle is I'm going to wrap this in an if error formula so that when there is nothing to reference, that it just returns a blank value. So what this is gonna look like is at the beginning of this VLOOKUP formula, I'll type if error. And what it gives us is it's gonna ask for two things, the value, which is all of this, and then comma at the end, the value if there's an error. So if there is any kind of error in the returning, what I wanna do is just return double quotations which signifies nothing or a blank cell and then finish that off and hit okay. It will not have changed anything and I'll drag this down one more time, but when there is nothing in the cell, you can see that it has taken away the error value. The only last quirk in this particular data set is for a date of birth, it's now returning it as a number instead of the actual date. How we can get around this is I can just highlight all of these cells, go to format, number, and then I can pick a date format and reformat the cells. So there we have it. We can select any of these values using the VLOOKUP to look up for the name and then match for the column. I hope this trick helps you out. If it did, please like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.